CHS, Inc. TV is back with the December episode covering all of the school events that took place this month. I'm your host, Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Kate Redu. Let's get into it. The Senior Switch Day tradition lets seniors trade in their identities for a day and become their favorite teacher. Let's find out more about this year's event from Audrey Mannion. Seniors got to choose who they wanted to be and teach classes for the full length of the school day. Each senior had varied lessons plans for the day. Each student gave presentations based on the class they taught, others impersonated their teachers, and seniors also created activities and played games with each class. Students who had played pranks on the underclassmen like seniors Mark Despina and Annie Ruoff did as Mr. Gleason. The two Gleasons attempted to trash the freshman hallway, call them down and yell at them, and force them to clean up the mess. Let's hear what Mark Despina has to say about his plan. Um, it's actually funny because we were at an info session and uh, Miss Morgan was there, Mr. Gleason was there, and Miss Morgan suggested it. And we took the idea because we thought it would be super funny and we knew it was something that Mr. Gleason would do himself. So we thought, why not do it when we were being Mr. Gleason? For Ink TV, I'm Audrey. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Audrey. SkillsUSA members are starting to gear up for competition season, but first they hosted their annual career day where students can learn about different professions from people in that field, including some CHS alumni. Let's go to Cole Raymond with the story. On Friday, December 2nd, SkillsUSA held a career day for the students of CHS. The second half of the school day was left open for people to visit speakers during six different sessions. Students chose who they wanted to see for each presentation. Some of the speakers were CHS alumni, including actor and personal trainer Andy Doe. Others had siblings who attended the school, like advertiser Krista Quattrochi. To get these speakers to attend, members of SkillsUSA used their network and found contacts who would be willing to talk about their jobs. The day ended with keynote speaker Rachel Belli, who also graduated from communications. Belli talked to students about her job at News 12 New Jersey and her experience at CHS. For Inc. TV, I'm Cole Raymond, now back to Izzy and Kate. National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society inductees are now responsible for monthly community service and full club participation. NHS advisor Justine Lane and NTHS advisor Deb Marr inducted society hopefuls into their respective clubs on December 7th. Here's Courtney with the rest of the information on induction. After a faculty council reviewed the applications, the societies held a joint induction ceremony led by Ms. Lane and Mrs. Marr. Parents and families of inducted members were invited to watch the ceremony. The night included a candle lighting and speeches from Mr. Gleason, Superintendent McCorkle, society board members, and new inductees from each society. Students applying to the National Honor Society must document a total of 150 hours of service, both in the community and in leadership positions. The National Technical Honor Society requires members to practice a skill that relates to the communications field. The night ended with group pictures, congratulations, and delicious cupcakes. Thanks, Courtney. The CCC Head Start Festival welcomes children to CHS to play games, watch performances, and meet Santa Claus. Now to Shannon Damiano with more. The Cultural Communications Club holds their Head Start event every year, inviting disadvantaged kids from Monmouth County to visit CHS and participate in holiday activities. About 45 students selected from the club based on past involvement participated in the event where students from Lakewood Head Start program enjoy student performances and get to go meet Santa Claus. This year, each Head Start student received a gift of a notebook, Play-Doh, crayons, and stickers, as well as a stuffed toy dog. We asked CCC advisor Sabina Campbell about planning this event. Yeah. Oh, when they come, you know, first they are really friendly, some of them are afraid, so yeah. we make them feel comfortable and, you know, we kind of follow them if they want to sit, we sit with them, give them a little time. And then we have performances and then, of course, we have Santa Claus. And then they get, each one get a, like a, a bag full of gifts and a stuffed animal. Last year they were bears, this year they were puppies. This is Shannon Damiano for Inc. TV and now back to the studio. The junior class is responsible for hosting coffee house each year for students to showcase their talents. The event helps raise funds for the class and invites friends and family to enjoy music, poetry, and much more. Let's go to Dylan Josephson with the story. Every year, the junior class sponsors a coffee house event where students can showcase their talents and help support the class. This year, the class of 2018 ran the event. Juniors Jonathan Slovak of Spring Lake Heights and Marcos Guevara of Cliffwood hosted the evening. They read tweets from the audience and introduced all of the different acts. Students performed in many different acts, ranging from violin solos to dramatic poetry readings. The performances were split into two parts with a short intermission separating them. The juniors sold unlimited snacks and refreshments throughout the night for just $1. For Ink TV, I'm Dylan. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. On Thursday, December 15th, juniors and seniors of the National Art Honor Society went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. 
Students left CHS by 8 a.m. and arrived at the museum at 10. Splitting up into three groups, they went on an hour-long tour of the museum to discuss how artists communicate through their work. CHS students were also given three hours to explore the museum on their own, get food, and visit the gift shop. Leaving at 2.20, students were back at CHS by 4.30 in the afternoon. To end the episode, let's go to our man on the street, Courtney Kushner, who talked to CHS students about their holiday wishes. I went out into the halls to find out what CHS students wanted most to receive this Christmas. The best Christmas present would be a promise of lifelong happiness, because that's the only thing that really matters to me, is just joy and love, and my friend Dylan. MacBook. Yeah. Took a lot. And why? Because, um, to like have the same programs that we have here, because it's just easier. Uh, I guess maybe like a trip somewhere would be cool. Um, I went to Hawaii recently, like four years back, and it would be nice to go back. And... Um, the iPhone 7 i put some plus because um, I like the camera. Or like a vacation. Well, I do want world peace. Who doesn't, right? It would be a hydro flask, which is this really giant water bottle. And that's my ideal holiday gift because I drink a lot of water and I've gone through about 14 different water bottles trying to find one that keeps my water cold and is also large enough to like quench my thirst. For Inc. TV, I'm Courtney Kushner. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Courtney. Signing off for Rank TV, I'm Izzy. And I'm Kate. And on behalf of our entire staff, have a happy holiday break.